I've taken all the screws out except two. Um, and pop these screws off and let's see what happens. Will it stick? Or will it pop right off? It's gonna pop right off, I know. What's up, buddy? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's up, buddy? You're excited as me. Look at this. This is awesome. Look how awesome this is. Came right off. No problem. Came right off. Come on, guys. How exciting is it? Wow, that's so straight. That is super straight. Guys, take a look at this. This worked perfect. That came right. out crazy. That is straight. like I am super happy. I'm this is awesome. So there's seven layers of glass right here. I feel like that money, but there's seven layers of filling this part in. Um, I got all the holes. And I'm like speechless right now. This is so cool. I am super excited that this worked out. Even though I didn't I already did it and I don't think that there was a reason it shouldn't have. Um, I'm very excited. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes. I'm going to find holes that have already been made in this transom. i got to drill a bunch of holes for the clamping process of putting the CUSA board to the inside skin. You'll see what that looks like in a little bit. But uh, in the meantime, this is awesome. It popped right off. Melamine, waxed, no problemo. Um, cool. All right. Well, on to the next part. So pretty basic, I have a nice template here made of the transom that um, I'm going to mark on this CUSA board and um, I'm going to cut it out. Um, I have to be very careful, this is $300 a sheet, $320 actually. So um, I'm going to measure it five times and then make a cut. Um, you know what's nice is, I don't know if you noticed. Oh. Um, Sharpie makes a silver marker, so it's, this is, these are awesome for uh, if you have dark material and want to draw on it. Um, so um, the top of my transom is going to have a little bit of a crown, and uh, some guys have a lot of crown, some guys have none. I think a little bit's going to be kind of cool. I'm, I'm aiming for about an inch and a half um, of. Uh, crown I guess I don't know what the, the technical term is um, but in order to do it I, what I did is I just basically take a take a nice straight batten of wood tie between the two points I'm one inch up I just bring the wood like this gives me a nice curve mark it out and we're good I'm still debating whether or not I'm gonna have a little bit more than that So working with this CUSA board is really nice. It's it's sandable, it's easy to cut, very light. Um, love the stuff, but I better love it for $320. All right, so it's time to glue these two pieces of CUSA board together. Uh, the method I use is epoxy mixed with cabasol, thicken it up, uh, spread it all out, and then I'm gonna use a quarter inch trowel to make sure it's all evenly spread out, and then, set the other cruiser board on top then I'll take a bunch of weight put it um, put that on top squeeze it all together and let it sit I needed to do this because um, the transom needs about an inch and a half of material and the cruiser board I bought was three quarters of an inch um, 
I could have bought an inch and a half, but I chose to buy three quarters so that leftovers that I have I can use for bulkheads. Um, so I have more more material. Um, so that's basically it. It's not rocket science. If you're using this method, uh, just remember that that epoxy is pretty slippery. So uh, you might set the board down perfectly and bump it just slightly and it'll move. Um, I thought I had it perfect. I had it slightly off. Not a huge deal. I'll just use my belt, belt sander later on. But I wish I had taken the time to really pay attention to it um, being lined up. the Kusa board cut, glued it together, and uh, inside the boat. Just this is just I'm just mocking up, just making sure it fits. Um, one issue I did find, there's one issue I found out. I, I thought about this and I forgot. I just kind of put it out of my mind to not think about it. I should have thought about it. Is because my because my transom leans back, um, the top edge. Is now slanted up. Um, I want this. I want this top edge to be parallel with this, this side of the boat um, because the reason I drop this down half an inch is I want to be able to put half an inch kusa board on top of this, which will make it level. But if I put it on now, all right. So on. just a circular saw set at the angle I needed. Followed up by a belt sander, and I have the angle. Um, I have this top angle where I need it now. So that saved me. Um, that saved me a lot of headache because trying to do that in the boat um, probably would have been harder. All right, so my girlfriend got me a killer birthday present. So I saw this on. Um, somebody's channel and I said I had to get this it's a Makita and this came straight from Japan so it's in Japanese but it's a Makita hand band sander How cool is that? My girlfriend's awesome. Thanks, Sarah. All right, so I have uh, set up my clamping system. Well, I'm actually still setting up, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing real quick. Um, <clears throat> right, so what we got here is I have two by tens. I found nice and flat two by tens. Um, and I am clamping them with bolts. I drilled, uh, I drilled half inch uh, holes through the 2x4, through the Kusa board, through the fiberglass, through the melamine, and then through another 2x10. So the bolt comes all the way through. What I will do is I will get a bunch of peanut butter, um, thickened, basically thickened epoxy, as, and I'll have that um, spread nice and nice and thick uh, between the Kusa board and the fiberglass and then I'll bolt uh, and I'll put the bolts in and I'll squeeze everything together basically clamping everything squishing it nice and tight um, and straight so that when it sets this sucker is gonna be rock solid uh, cruise missile can hit it um, and then I should be all right so that's it all right, so here you go with fast forward 
work in progress. Uh, I am putting in thick layers of peanut butter into the corners. That's my boy Patrick. Helped me out. He was digging that. He was wearing a respirator. Felt like he was in Breaking Bad. Mixing up chemicals. Um, so he's making uh, peanut butter while I'm putting it in because this is really time sensitive. It's it was about 94 degrees and that's you know that epoxy is going to set pretty quick and there's a lot to put in. So got big thick fillets. Um, then troweled it on with quarter inch trowel. Um, after I troweled it all, all level throughout everything, then I smooth. I actually kind of like knocked it all down so there was hardly any air bubbles behind it. I next had Patrick mix up some uh, epoxy, thicken to about the consistency of mayonnaise. I want to spread it onto this uh, kusa board. It's very porous, uh, so we're going to spread a nice thin layer on it just to get into the holes. Oh, Patrick, you're so you're so classy. Uh, we um, spread it on the kusa board just to get into those pores, so I make sure there's a nice tight bond when we set it in. So we're about to set it in, uh, into place. Boom. Then I'm going to take bolts, put them through. Bang, bang, boom. Uh, and I crank them on down. That squeezes everything together nice and tight. Um, then I will let that set overnight and I will take it off. And it's going to be rock solid. Done putting the transom core in. I'm leaving tomorrow, so I just wanted to film this. It's night. I usually want to film at night. Um, but I wanted to just show this real quick that I am done with um, the transom as far as putting the core in. Here's the outside. Um, it is it is pretty dang straight. There's a little bit of a curve right about here. Uh, that can, it kind of bows out slightly. Um, I don't know why. I try to think about it why, but I don't know. Um, and here we go. Transom is in. It is nice and clamped down. All I have to do is put um, I'm gonna uh, put some more peanut butter around the um, around the uh, corners. Um, just some gaps around the corners, and then I'm going to put three layers of glass on top of this, tabbing it out into the hull. And that is it. That's all she wrote for the transom. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to finally have that piece done. It's a big piece of work, and um, I'm going on vacation for a week, going to the mountains, get some nice cool air because the summer is killing me. Um, so I wanted to get this video out before I left, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, please like it. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. Comment, ask questions. It's all it's all appreciated. Um, subscribe even. I've never had subscribers until now. I have a couple subscribers. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm really just doing this because I want to make sure that if anybody else in the future ever has one of these boats um, or a similar boat and they want to, you know, get some uh, uh, get some guidance um, this maybe help will help them because I know I've watched a lot of videos that have helped me and I appreciate the guys that have taken the time to make those videos all right see you later guys